Do you remember the 1989 boys soccer team, Mr. Burlington? Do I remember them? I remember them, boy. They could play. They loved soccer. They had a passion for the sport. And boy, what a great game. What a great game. Hi there, Mr. Burlington. I'm sure you don't remember me, but I attended Sir John way back in 88-89 with the likes of Dale Nolso, Dave Richinger, and Niels Thompson. I've been back in Kelowna since graduating, but YK has always held a special place in my heart over the past 20 years. I have very fond memories of our co-ed phys ed class camping weekend, and have recently digitized my father's old VHS tape of the Territorial Indoor Soccer Tournament that we won in 89. I've sent copies to all the fellows that I've kept in touch with, thanks to Facebook, and have a couple extra kicking around. If you ever want one for a good laugh, just let me know, and I'll send it up. So, Mr. Burlington, how many teams were there in the Super Soccer League? Oh, there was a lot of teams. They came from all over the Northwest West Territories, the Cadillac, Rankin Inlet. It was, uh, Anuvik had teams, and then we started to get teams from south of the lake, Hay River, Fort Smith. We had, uh, all the gyms were full. All the gyms, all the gyms in the, uh, in Yellowknife were full. It was, uh, it was awesome. It was quite a weekend.
When did they split up Super Soccer into two weekends? Oh, I think the year was 2006. That's when they decided to have a junior Super Soccer for the kids in grade 6 to 8. And then the senior division was grades 9 to 12. Why did they do that, Mr. Burlington? Well, the players are getting quite skilled, and, 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 they, need, and they need bigger gyms. So it was really important to, um, to uh, find more space because we were, we were pretty crowded on, on the one weekend. So they decided to break it up. And I think it's worked pretty good in the last four or five years. It's been, uh, it's been good. Action. What's the strength of your team? Oh, that was me. Me? For sure. No, no, me. Well, the girls are okay. They're okay. It was me. Seriously. Get your arm off my hair, please. Thank you. Thank you. I am Mustachio Burrito. We're here today with Xander. And Dylan. What kinds of leadership do you bring as student coaches to the group of 15 and under boys? Leadership? What you know about leadership? We're bringing leadership back in a big way. We're clearly the best leaders because everyone looks up to us in the school. So the 15 under boys definitely look up to us. They got leadership. Back to you, buddy.
I'm Antonio Angelo Pereira Severira. We're here today with Mr. McDonald. Tell us about your years of experience coaching Super Soccer. What has been a highlight for you? Well, I started coaching Super Soccer way back in the 90s and I've been coaching ever since. It's, uh, they've all been great experiences. I think uh, some of the highlights that I can remember are all those banners that are hanging on the wall. Uh, the 19 under girls, some of the junior girls as well, also the uh, ones that are hanging in the rafters. I particularly remember two games uh, quite a few years ago, way back in the 90s. Uh, Leslie Brantford uh, scored a goal in a uh, shootout and uh, that won the, the banner for Sir John. About uh, 10 years later, Leslie Robertson uh, did the same thing in another shootout and uh, Sir John won again. I think there's going to be one more highlight uh, this year in uh, 2011 when Sir John Gold played Sir John Blue. And one of those teams is bringing the banner home this year. Thank you. Thank you. Back to you, Bradley. I'm Angelo, Angelo, Burrito, Salsa. We're here today with Mr. Kilbride. Story has it you put a major uh, emphasis on the fitness component in your program. How does this help prepare the kids for the weekend? Um, well, I think um, after six weeks of training, I think it's going to help them run in the big field at the field house this year. Thank you. Back to you, buddy. The 2011 Senior Super Soccer event being held in Yellowknife on May the 4th to the 8th will take on a new venue for a lot of the tournament games. For the first time ever, games will be played at the new field house as well as the combined space of the St. Pat's Willoughby gyms. Due to the bigger space, we will for the first time have five players and a goalie on the court instead of four players and a goalie as in past events. The participants are very excited about the idea of playing their games in the field house. It is a wonderful facility. Super soccer just gets better with age. It should be an awesome tournament. Go Falcons, go!